Still ahead for us on this Monday night, is there a connection between pregnancy, the flu, and autism? We'll have a closer look at one of the stories in the news today. And later, how some of our war heroes spent this Veterans Day making a difference for other people who could really use them right now. We are back, as promised, with a reality check on a story that was in the news today right as flu season arrives. A new study in the journal Pediatrics found that women who had the flu while they were pregnant were more likely to have a child later diagnosed with autism. We've asked our chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, to join us here tonight to put some of this into some perspective. Now, we're going to put it in perspective because it scares a lot of people when they mm -hmm. hear associations like this, Brian. Important study because this is out of Denmark, covering over 96,000 children. And because of the homogenous population and their very good record keeping, they were able to ask women about events during their pregnancy that then might have an increased risk for autism. Here's what they didn't find. No increased risk with regular respiratory infections like the common cold or reuse of common antibiotics. But when they asked women about having had influenza, that's the real fever, aches, pains, cough, flu that we talk about. There was a twofold increase with a diagnosis of influenza then in children under the age of three. Now, that still means that the incidence was low, less than 1%. But it's a cautionary tale because last year at this time, we were talking about pregnant women being at risk themselves of influenza and dying from it if they didn't get the flu shot. Now a concern that perhaps getting vaccinated can also protect a developing fetus. So here's the take home message. Although the risks may be small, if you are of childbearing age, want to get pregnant or are pregnant, now is the time, Brian, as we talk about in the fall, Get your flu shot. As we said, this is why the story got the attention of a lot of people today. Nancy, okay. thank you.